ไม่พูดผิดในการอ่ะที่เชิญมาเข้ามาแล้วนะครับพวกเราเพราะคนนี้ออเดียอยู่นะ Good morning ยางยางเดี๋ยวแป๊บนึงปวดมากเหรอผมปวดเลยแน่เลยใช่ไหมเฮ้ยมาเอ Good morning ที่เชิญมา Good morning, Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody today. Good morning, Good morning, Good morning, Good morning, Crystal, Tang Tang, Luke. How are you all? Just see uh, Lisa, Finia. Nice to see you again. Yeah, nice to see Hi, you as well. Hi, What's everybody nice doing this morning? Every, can everybody tell me something they've been doing this morning? Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. How are you? Um, I, I did the bull whip. I did the bull whip. I've been doing kung fu with the bull whip. Okay, sorry, Oak. We've got a new student you said you were saying. Okay. คุณแม่ครับแนะนำ introduce นี้ yourself your look ครับลูกด้วยฮะ your look okay ค่ะ um sorry this is Lin Hong two years okay yes and her name is Lee Hock yes 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 Tang Tang is her sister oh okay her sister very good she can help us uh, in the class today. And what is she? She's playing with something I can see. And she is observer. Yeah. Oh, yes. So today, uh, Lee Hock will, will observe. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, welcome. Welcome yeah. to the class. Thank you. Okay. Hello. Lee Hock, how are you? Hello. Hello. So everybody can... Uh, can help Lee Hock enjoy the class today. Okay, thank you. So Chris, how are you, Chris? I can see you there. So it looks like you've had a, you've had a short haircut. Thank you, I got a haircut from my mom. Yeah, I like it. So very short, good for the hotter weather and don't have to worry about brushing it and is almost drying like it. Mine, but crystal haircut is almost but like mine, but uh, I'm a little like uh, more to the side than this side. This side should be normally all white, but I let it so long like this, so it got longer. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, I can see that, Finia. And Lita, how are you today, Lita? I can see you there. Red. Now, what was everybody doing? I heard somebody was doing kung fu. I did kung fu. I did the bull whip. Oh, okay, kung fu and bull whip. Do you know what is the bull whip? No, I, I haven't heard of bull whip. What is that? Um, bull whip. Let me just find my bull whip. Papa, what's my bull whip? So, bull whip. I'll have to check with Augustus. Bull whip. What is that? Okay. From like a leader. Mommy, the whole thing is leather, but it's made from leather. My dad already got like a, almost like an injury, but it was like total red here. Oh, okay. Oh, yep. I think I know that one. What's oh, my book? So, so let's, let's start off talking about what did we do last, last lesson? What did we do? Can anybody remember? I'm just going to find my pen. Hold on. So what did we what did we do what did we do last week what did we talk about? We talked about work work work. What was that, Paul? Work work. So last week we were comparing things, weren't we? Like what is bigger, what is smaller, what is faster, what is more expensive. I find it off. You guys remember that? So I just got my pen here. Yes, I do. 
Okay, so you do remember that, Crystal. Very good. All right, so who's got a question for me? Who would like to ask Teacher Mark something today to start off our class? Okay, question number one. Who's got the first question? Me. Okay, go ahead. Yes, Teacher Mark. <laughs> okay, so Luke, what's your question? How are you today? How am I today? Um, I'm good. I'm good. I, I had a cup of coffee and some fruit for breakfast. Oh, I want to ask you. Um, a little bit like different now because we have lockdown here in Chonburi, so we can't go out as much as we oh, no, no. Me too. Yeah, you guys are in We're lockdown. Not really as well. here. We people are just like walking around. Okay. I locked out too. <laughs> yes okay so yes. yeah it's, it's locked down in a lot of places in thailand now so it's quiet yes it gets quite hard around. so we can't we can't go out as much all right so that's a great question so yeah i'm doing good now question number two me, please, me, please, me. Go on, Finia. Ask, uh, ask a question. Let's go through. Let's do five questions. So, number two, What did you Finia, eat this the... morning? Say that one again. <laughs> go, Finia. Say, say that question again. Um, you already ate fruit. I, I thought I didn't. Okay. Oh, yeah. So I had um I didn't have I didn't have a lot to eat. I just had some some grapes. Some okay. I had some some grapes from Australia. Actually, I had grapes from my it's... country. They were they were red red grapes from Australia, which I bought from oh, well, I bought from Tesco. Or oh, actually I should it's the new name I bought from Lotuses. So I bought Oh some... wait, I have an idea. Uh is at your is in the morning at your place sunny or cloudy? Oh, okay. So is is my place sunny or cloudy? Let me have a look. It's today. It's actually windy. It's quite windy and quite cloudy. Yeah, it looks here like too, it looks like, looks like it's, go, Here's it's going windy to rain. And cloudy too. Here's a windy cloudy. And okay, so you've got windy and cloudy. <laughs> Um, who can tell me what the temperature is? Um, I don't know what is the temperature. Let me ask Siri. Or anybody. It's... Does anybody know the temperature at the moment outside? Um, I'm going to be guessing. Augustus, what do you think? The temperature. It's like hot, like always, but it's warm. 28? Okay, so. It's like 20 or something. Okay, so we're, we're, we're guessing it's about 28 degrees. And you guys is 28 now, but now here it's, um, it was just quite windy and chilly, but now it's quite, um, now it's quite okay. warm. I mean, sweating now, even if I'm not doing any sports. Oh, yeah, no sports. That's tough, but actually. I did do... But I did do Kung Fu. Okay, so doing some music and later. It's 87. Fahrenheit. It's every 87 Fahrenheit. Ah, interesting. So 87 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, Fahrenheit is used a lot in America for measuring weather or temperature. So 87 degrees Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. And we turn that in Thailand. Ah, it's windy we use, again. We use Chilling. the other one. We use the other one called centigrade. So Fahrenheit. Let's have a look at how. Let's see. Fahrenheit to Celsius. Celsius. Okay, so I'm going to convert this. I'm going to convert Fahrenheit 
seven degrees Fahrenheit is 31.55556 Celsius. Yes, but in my dad computer it says um, 31 Celsius. Oh, it says 31. Okay. So for me, and I'm guessing. I'm guessing we're about 80 here at the moment. Yeah, we're about 26. So we're probably about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so yeah, after the weather, hot. that's... Um, obviously, the weather is slightly different between different parts of Thailand. Let's see where we'll go. All right, guys, so we are going to start our lesson now. Okay, so we're going to... We're going to use something called Neopod today, something new for us to watch our lessons on. Go there. Okay, now I'm going to have this on screen. I'm also going to put this into the chat screen. Let's have a look. So if you can click on this link, anybody that can find it. So I've got a link here on the mind. chat. You can try to follow this and join into the lesson. Otherwise, we are going to just look on screen. Again? Okay, so we're going to start off with a, a oh, quick yeah. game today, talking about food. YouTube, YouTube. Uh, um, teacher play. YouTube, YouTube. One second. What Thai? What Sun Tzu? What Thai? What Thai? What Thai? What Thai? Okay, so one second, let's have a look. All right, so we're going to try to have a quiz about some food. So I had grapes this morning. What are some other foods that everybody had to eat for breakfast today? Um, let me have a look here. We're just going to fix the screen here. One second. Um, okay, so let's have a look. Okay. All right. So we're going to go to a quiz here. Food quiz. What am I? We'll just open this up. Okay, can everybody see that on screen? Yeah. Okay, thank you, Luke. So you can see that. I'm just going to open it up again. Okay, so we're going to play this. Okay, can everybody hear the sound? No. Okay, I'm going to share the sound. So this is a, a quiz about food. So we'll see how fast everybody is. We'll figure out what food we're looking at on the screen. Read the clues and guess the food and drink. <laughs> All right. Can everybody?
everybody see that on the screen? Yeah, me. You can see it. Okay. Yes. So let's go through yeah. some examples. Let's go through some examples of food and drinks. So let's talk about. I want to know what sort of food and drink you had for dinner last night. So let me start. So for dinner, what did I have for dinner last night? I had spaghetti bolognese for my dinner. I had spaghetti bolognese with a garden salad. So there's two food items. Let's hear Lita, what did you have? What did you have for dinner last night? Dinner last night? Yeah, what did you eat? Chicken fried. Chicken fried? Yes. Yummy. Or in English, we would say that as fried chicken. So you had fried chicken. Fried chicken. Hi, the translation is um, chicken fried because you would say Guy Todd. Is that, that's right, isn't it, Paul? So Guy Todd would be fried chicken. Okay, so what else did every, what else did, did anybody else have for dinner? So we had fried chicken from Lita. I had spaghetti bolognese. Chris, what did you have? So what did Chris have for his dinner? What was it, Chris? What did you have? I'm eating watermelon. Oh, you're eating watermelon now. Yum. Okay, so good. That's another food, watermelon. Let's quickly go through. Let's see how many we can get before we start our quiz. So what have we got so far? Let's see whose memory is good. Spaghetti bolognese, fried chicken, watermelon. Um, I ate ham. Crystal had ham. What else did we have? With, with chicken. Ham and chicken. Nice one. Now I'm going to do some cooking Tonight, I bought some potatoes and I'm gonna slice the potatoes and I'm gonna deep fry them and make homemade French fries. So I, I wanted to do that last French night, but I- last, I made French fries, um, 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 I made French fries. I made French fries before. You've made French fries before, like homemade ones? Yeah, yeah. Like my mom buy a potato and let me cut them and then um just put it in the pot and wait a little bit like two minutes okay to make it very crunchy but if i like it it's the way like on the middle of, like it's big the middle is like so soft and the um what they call mm. on the side we have on the side, it's- We have a picture of potatoes. When I make French fries, I always think what is the best potato to make French fries from? Because there's many different types of potatoes. So let's have a look. I'd like to know what you guys think about what potato variety would you use for your French fries? Let's have a look. So, for the example, yellow one. let's have a look here. So, here are a whole bunch of different style of potatoes. I Some would pick the yellow one. You'd go yellow, okay? Yeah. Some are good for salad. Some are good for French fries. Some are good for mashed potatoes, for example. So, you'd you'd go for the yellow ones over here. I 
think that would be, yeah, I think either the yellow or the kind of pinkish ones down the bottom here would be good as well. Yellow. Right. So anybody else want to tell us what they had to eat for dinner last night so we can we can learn more about different types of food? Did anybody have pizza? Did anybody have a noodle dish? What else could we have? So noodles. Give me and red pepper. Sorry, Paul, what was that? Kimchi. Oh, yum. Okay, kimchi. You had some kimchi last night? Really cool, actually. I went to a Korean... I went to a Korean... Yes, store. and red pepper. Okay, kimchi and vegetables. Yeah, I like Korean food. My... I took my daughter to a Korean supermarket and she wanted to get the, a Korean Oreo breakfast cereal. Um, it looked pretty cool. It was rather expensive, but it looked really good. Like Korean food is, is really good. So well done. Kimchi can be very spicy, Paul. Do you like your kimchi spicy? Yes. Okay. Now, I love kimchi with um, eating with um, octopus, like barbecue octopus or barbecued squid. That's really nice. Okay, guys, so we are going to start our quiz. Okay, are we ready? Everybody ready? We're going to have our quiz on food. Since it's very close to breakfast. Yeah. And I'm going to make sure that everybody can hear. Okay, so here we go. Are we ready? Brown bread baked topped with tomato and cheese. I usually eat it in slices. So who can guess what I am? Oh, I think Augustus here just got the answer. So I am cooked in an oven. I have a round base top with tomatoes and cheese. I'm usually eaten in slices. Pizza. Pizza. Anybody else have another guess? Let's have a look. What am I? Pizza. Pizza, correct. Pizza, pizza with slices. Tomato and cheese. Okay, number two. What am I? I am a drink made from beans. You can drink this hot or cold. Some people drink me to feel less tired. Fire, 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 fire. Soy milk. Soy milk. Soy milk. Oh, that's milk. close, I think. So soy milk. Soy milk is made from beans. Soy milk. You can drink it hot or cold. Uh, let's have a look. Let's see if soybean is correct. It was coffee. So coffee made from beans. Coffee. You drink it hot or cold, but soy 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 milk is is could also be the answer. So good 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 suggestion on that one. Okay, let's go to the next one. Let's guess the next item. Bread. 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 Everybody happy with bread? 
bread. Ah, okay. Bread, so bread, let's have a look. Bread. I think that's an easy one, isn't it? Flour bread. And yeast at a bakery, and people use me to make sandwiches. likes to eat bread? Me. Me! Okay, so Crystal, Finia, Paul? I love bread! You love bread. Does anybody have a favourite bread? What sort of bread do you like to, to Italian. eat? Italian! I like Italian bread. You like Italian bread? That's I'm usually a bit favorite. harder, isn't it? And kind of fun, right? It's, it's I like new bread, new bread, new bread. Awesome. Okay, very good. I like to buy uh, a farmhouse. I like bread croissants. Oh, you like croissants? Oh, I also like croissants. Croissants are yummy. Yeah, I like um, I like bread with um, like grain, like grain bread. Like it's a little bit more healthier. Sometimes my kids don't like it, but I like it with some seeds and some sesame. It's a quite a nice bread. Um, so what do we got? We got bread, we got croissants. What else is made from flour and yeast? Pancakes is, is similar, made from flour, maybe not yeast. Waffles. And what is yeast? So that's good. So that was an easy one. Let's go to the next, let's go to the next question on our quiz. So what am I? Yes, what am I? I'm a meat boy, but you can't drink me. I'm very sweet. I am made by bees that stored inside honeycomb. Oh, I don't know. So I'm a liquid, but you don't drink me. I'm very sweet. Honey, 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 honey. 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 Use, Have a look. Honey, so, we don't drink. We don't drink honey. We put honey on some bread or something, and then we eat it. Yeah. So what are we looking at here? We're looking at honey, and oh, there is some honeycomb. Oh, let me do Let me do honey. Here's the honeycomb, and and correct. We don't. I mean, we don't drink honey by itself, do we? Because it's too thick. And it. Me, me, me. So sweet and very sweet. Yes. Yeah. So you need to you need to put it on like bread or mix it into maybe uh, some tea. Yeah, because it's very sweet and very thick. Yeah, very thick actually. It's I love it. It's yummy. It's yummy. It's um. Has anybody eaten honeycomb? Where the the honey me. the honey sits on side of it. You've had honeycomb. Oh, that's really yummy. Yeah, um, my, grandma, my, grandma gave, my, my grandma gave a, a honeycomb to me. My grandma gave a Oh, your grandma gave you before. some honeycomb once before? My my grandma, yeah, my grandma, my grandma gave a honeycomb to me. So I tried it and it was very good. Yum. Now, has anybody been stung? Anybody been stung? Do we know what the word is? Yeah. Stung means by a bee? Nearly 300. Stung by a bee. But not more. So let's see. Who oh, has been stung? I never. Bee sting or bee sting? Never bee sting or a bee stung? Sting stung. Bee sting. Oh, there's the bee that lets us, lets us have this yummy sweet honey. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I've never, I never, never I have been, never got stung by a bee. I only got stung three times because I wanted to touch the, I wanted to touch the flower, but there was a honey bee, but I didn't know it was a honey bee because it was quite, I was very small. I just, my, and I just like say, shoo, 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 and then it stung. Oh no, so you got stung like a few times. Oh, Lita, your cat is so cute. Ovenson. So what's your what's your cat's name? Before I Ovenson. 
Oh, it's a kitten. It's a baby cat. That is so cute, Lita. I have a baby cat. It's a baby cat. I always hear bees. I always hear bees okay. beside my house. So, so bees usually don't want to sting us. They just sting us because they, they get scared. Sometimes, um, you know, you don't have to worry too much about bees. But they do sting you if they think you're coming for their nest or you're going to take their honeycomb. I don't all right, so that's our. So, what am I? So, the, the, the question here, I think we all know that it's going to be honey. Let's go and find out for sure. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Ah, there we go. So, it is honey. There's the honey stick. Okay, question five. What am I? You can eat me for dessert. Mm, any ideas? I'm a sweet treat. You can eat me for dessert. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. What else? What else do you think? Ice cream. What else could it be? A sweet treat. And the cream. Pudding. 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 I'm. I'm. I'm guessing it's waffle. Let, let's have a look at the next. Oh, I like waffle too. Waffle. Waffle. Let's have a look at the next clue. The next clue, I think, will give us more idea. So here we go. I am icy cold and made from cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. You guys were right. Who said ice cream? I think this is going to be ice cream. Uh, I am icy cold and made from cream. Let's have a look. Oh, there we go. We have a, looks like a chocolate ice cream with chocolate sprinkles. Okay, number six. What am I? I am yellow or white. I am made from milk. Mm. Yellow or white? I am yellow made or white. Milk. And butter. I'm made from butter. Milk. Yeah, butter. 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 Oh, butter. butter. I heard butter. I think that's butter. a great butter. that's a great butter. guess. Butter. 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 Okay, let's have a look at let's butter. have a butter. Look. butter. Butter. Let's have a look at our third clue, Paul. I think you might be right. So I'm gonna pick me up and I will be out. Butter sounds like everybody thinks mm. butter. Just so everybody knows, what does butter look like? Butter. Let's have a look. Australia has some great butter. There we go. There's some butter. You have that on your toast. Or if I cook my eggs, I will use butter. Hot in the toast, it won't. It won't be so. Uh, it won't be so dry anymore. I love butter. Yeah, no, that's right, Tinia. It will, the it'll stop it from being so dry. So yeah, lots of butter. And Paul, you love butter. It that's good. I like butter. It makes it more salty too. It makes it more salty. So one thing I want to have a look at. I've saw, I've seen yellow butter. I haven't seen white butter. Let's have a look. Butter in Bangtan. Oh, okay. So we, they do have white butter, but it doesn't look like the same as it does. I think it doesn't even taste like taste like. Yeah, yellow I think butter. you're right, Finia. I think the white butter is a different one. So most of the ones you're going to see it will be yellow butter. Um. Okay. So that's butter. Let's go back. I think we all got this right. Let's go and confirm if we got it correct. We all got tricked. It's butter. We all got tricked. It's very close to butter, but it was cheese. So who likes to eat cheese and what type of cheese do you like? 
Um, Have a look. I like the. I don't. I never ate cheese before, so I don't have favorites. Hold on, yeah. So lots of different cheeses. I only uh, eat cheese on pizza, so I don't have a. Favorite. I feel like I'm lost in a park where it only goes round and round. Where am I? Oh, okay. So Finia, you're out. You're doing. You're doing your class outdoors today. Yes. That's park. nice. Now, okay, so look, guys, here we got cheese, which can be white, which can be yellow. Now, there, has anyone ever tried yeah. blue I've tried cheese? I've tried white cheese before. Yeah. It's quite delicious, but many kids, it's not because it's so bitter. It's yeah. a salad or something. You're right. Yeah, it can be very bitter. Look, uh, let's have a look at this list here. So there's a lot of fancy cheeses here. Ooh, so, I like it. One of my favorite cheeses. Who can guess my favorite cheese? Oh, I, I always wanted to try the da Danish blue cheese. Oh, that's and a really strong cheddar, cheddar, cheddar. Cheddar, yeah, cheddar's yummy. Danish blue's got a very strong flavor. A lot of kids don't like that one. But it is it is quite it is quite a strong flavor. I like I this one up here. I like this one. this one up the top here. Feta. Feta I is think, really yummy. I think that blue I um ate it before when it was in Germany. I was quite little, like uh four or five. And okay. then when I ate it, I was and and I ate it and I said, "You put that away from me." Oh I yeah, it it's um because they wouldn't understand me. Oh, that's right. It's um some cheeses can be very smelly. So we can see here mozzarella. That's the one that's uh, very famous for being used on pizza. Yeah. How about I this one? Who knows this one down it. here? Parmesan. So like when we go, when I met my cousins and Parmesan, Parmesan, Parmesan. Yes, Paul. We gone to a. Go on, we gone to a like a pizza shop. Mm -hmm. They put like so many people put uh, mozzarella on the pizza, like mozzarella, mozzarella, mozzarella. It's almost oh, the yes. whole Mozzarella time. is probably the, that's the number one cheese for pizza. And then Parmesan down the bottom here, that's the one that they will sprinkle on pasta. So if you have spaghetti bolognese or spaghetti cabanara. Oh, I like that too, but a lot of uh, kids do it because it's quite bitter. Yeah, it can be very bitter. You're right. All right, so that's a little, little bit about cheese. Let's uh, let's go to our next question. We're up to number seven. Are we ready for number seven? Okay, so what am I? What am I? I am orange in color. I am a healthy drink. Orange juice. Orange juice. Orange juice. Yes, I think. Orange juice. Orange juice. Orange juice. Orange juice. Orange juice. Orange juice. What else is orange that we can do? Cantaloupe healthy? goop is more like uh cantaloupe goop is more like a juice. It's more uh like light orange. Not like yeah, it's that's like... right. It's like very almost like almost clear. Yeah, it's right, almost let's like have a pink. look. I think it's we got this one. Orange juice. I'm squeezing the What's everybody's favorite juice? Orange juice. Yeah, you like orange juice? Yes. I sir. love orange juice, but I don't really like the. Uh, my dad quite likes it. My dad quite likes the orange juice. Uh, orange juice with those uh like seeds in it, but I don't oh, like yeah. it. I like more the one without. Oh yeah, I've got you the seeds and the pulp, like the little bits of fruit inside. So here's my favorite juice. 
It's quite a strong flavor. What is it? Beetroot My favorite and juice apple. is beetroot, beetroot, apple, and ginger. I never tasted it before. Can you like get it into like shops or something? Yeah, some um some, some, some there are some there are some shops that will make it fresh. So you can look out for this one. It's it's quite nice. Um, the ginger makes it makes it a little bit. What's the word? It makes it um, like uh, uh, a little bit bitter. Oh yeah, right. Ginger is. I ate ginger before. Mm. Ginger without anything. I just mm. ate ginger, right? Oh it wow, was that's quite refreshing. It was quite refreshing for uh, the mouth. Okay, yeah, it's very healthy for you, Ginger, but it's very strong by itself. So here we got my favorite juice. So the ginger, it gets balanced by the apple, the apple being a bit sweet, and then the beetroot being a little sweet as well. So it kind of makes the ginger quite nice. Um, yeah. What are some other juices that you guys like? Let me just research it after the class. You know, a lot. Um, I have a friend of mine. He loves carrot juice. Carrot juice? What? What does it? Oh, carrot juice. Yeah, carrot juice. My friend used to drink so much carrot juice that his skin used to look like a carrot color. Um, what's some other famous juices we have? You know what? A really nice one in Thailand, I find, is. Mango juice. Mango juice. I love those too. I love mango juice. And mango, mango juice. Yeah, I mango juice like is mango really juice. nice. I like, I love um, mango juice. I, love it. I like mango juice plus banana. Like banana plus mango juice, right? Oh yeah. And then, and then normally I want always wanted to try uh the mango juice. Mango juice with mama banana with um, strawberries. Yum, okay, mango, banana, and strawberry. Now that's a good combination. Here's another nice one. I like guava. It's not a strong flavor, but it's quite, oh, it's, it's like quite refreshing. I like that too, but I like it more creamy. So I like like the banana plus everything. I like banana plus everything because banana oh, yeah. has such a strong taste and it makes it creamier. Oh yes. Now what's some other what's some other fruit juices that anybody would drink? Peach, peaches. Peach is nice, yeah. Peaches are sometimes hard to come by in Thailand. Yeah. How about this one. This one is I don't I haven't seen a lot of juices like this, but this is a nice one. Mango steam juice. Ooh. Yeah, what's the what's the Thai name for this fruit? Who knows? What is um, mango steam? Sure, but um, I have a friend called Plum. Uh, okay. Plum, 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 because when they, because when they call it Plum, it it will, it will sound like Plum. Punch. The fruit Plum. Punch. Punch. So there's Plum. There's a Punch. You know, a very, a very famous, a very famous fruit in Thailand would be this one, pineapple. So pineapple juice is very famous in Thailand. Lots of pineapples grown in, in Thailand, especially where I am here in Chomburi and Rayong. I don't like so lots of pineapples. All right, so let's go back to our quiz. So, <coughs> so we got that correct. We were orange juice. Okay, what am I? It comes from a chicken. <clears throat> I have a shell when I am a new. When cooked, I am white with a yellow center. This one's pretty easy. What am I? Yes, I heard egg. I am, I am an egg. Egg. I think that's right. Let's have a look. Okay, what am I? Egg. I am. I guess so. 
became an egg. There we go. Someone cooking fried eggs. Oh. Okay, number nine. What am I? I am eaten as a light meal. I am usually made with two slices of bread. I can be filled with meat, cheese, lettuce, and many other things. Sandwich. Oh, I, oh, I heard sandwich. Sandwich. So two slices of bread filled <laughs> with <laughs> meat, sure could be a burger. hamburger, cheese, lettuce, and many other fillings. Hamburger. Hamburger. Sandwich. I don't know. Could be a sandwich or a burger. Hamburger. Hamburger. Okay. Now filled with meat. What? Let's have a look at. Let's see. Have a look at quick. Meat burger. Okay, let's have a look. Sandwich or hamburger? Should be the answer. Ah, there we have a sandwich. <laughs> Yum. That looks like a good sandwich. Yeah. Now, what's everybody's? What's everybody's perfect sandwich? What sort of meat could we put on a sandwich? Oh, I would like chocolate sandwich with lettuce inside, with cheese, and with delicious meat. <laughs> oh, yum. Video. So, look, this is ham. Ham is a good thing to have on a sandwich. What else? If I feel like having seafood on a sandwich, I will put tuna. I push egg. So let's have a look. There's some tin tuna. That's good on a sandwich. What else can we put on a sandwich? Egg. Egg, yes, egg sandwich is yummy. So, egg sandwich with some mayonnaise is really nice. There's our egg sandwiches. What else do we have? Um, bacon, bacon is nice. Bacon on a sandwich. What's another one? What makes a good sandwich? Obviously the salad sandwich. Let's have a look at a salad sandwich. Salad sandwich with no meat. Sometimes if you want to have a healthy snack, you can have a salad sandwich. So there's a nice healthy salad sandwich with, what do we got on the sandwich? If we have a salad sandwich, there's a classic Australian salad sandwich with carrot, Tomato, cucumber, lettuce, some onion. And looks like we got some maybe chicken or ham at the bottom. It's like an Italian bread. Like Finia, you said you love Italian bread. That looks a little bit Italian. All right, so let's go to our next guess. Okay, so we got that right. Okay, I heard salad. 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 Let's have a look, everybody. What is a salad? We just looked at a salad sandwich. We've got a very famous, we've got a garden salad. Let's look. Would this be a healthy snack? Garden salad. There we go. Garden salads. Um, a very famous salad. What's another salad name, guys, that you know? What's an another salad that, that, that you guys know? Has anyone heard of this one? Caesar salad? Caesar salad is quite yummy. Yummy. Caesar salad, these little croutons, see the little, the little toasted bread pieces, they're yummy on the salad. Um, let's go and have a look at the answer.
let's have a look. Okay, so that's our food quiz. Let's go and have a look at our next exercise. Okay, so next exercise, let me just open it up. Okay, so we've got our opposites. We're gonna do opposites next week. And our next exercise, I will just open it here. Oh, one second, okay. Well, we'll just move this out of the way up here. Now I am in the space somehow. What was that one? No. No ham. Okay, so everybody knew their food really, really well. Let's go and have a look at our next exercise here. Okay, now we learn a lot from that exercise about describing food and understanding food. I will just close that down. Okay, so can everybody see what we've got here on the screen? Oh, let me just get it a little smaller. Hold on. Okay, so who is that? <clears throat> Describing people. Okay, so we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight people. And I'm going to read a description about them. And let's see who can find out who it matches to. Okay, so let's go to number one. Are we ready? So we're going to describe people. So before we start, how do we describe, how do we describe people? We can describe them as, let's get some description words. Um, so if you're going to describe someone, how can we do that? We can say they are, let's have a look here. Describing people, okay? So we've got height, tall, short, dwarf. We've got the build, are they skinny? Are they muscular? Are they chubby? We've got age, old, young, teenager, baby, kid. We can describe their face shape of their face, their eyes, what color eyes do they have? What color hair? Blonde, bold, long, short, black, brown, skin, fair, dark, tanned, pale, light. Their nose can be long, can be flat, can be pointed. Their mouth can be thin, they can have big lips. They can have small teeth. Um, that's how we would describe people. So on this next exercise, we're gonna to try to figure out who is who. So let's have a look. So let's describe these people. Okay, so let's go to the first one. Can everybody see that on the screen clearly? Okay, so who is that? Can everybody see that? So we go to the first one, his name is Michael. He's in his fifties, which means he's 50 years old around there. He has got short, straight black hair. He has a black moustache. He's wearing blue jeans, a purple T-shirt, and grey shoes. He looks upset. He looks upset. Who is he? Can someone tell me? Where is this? Uh, where is number one? Now wait. 
Where is number one? Where's Michael? He's got a black moustache. He's got black hair. He's wearing blue jeans and he looks upset. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Who can tell me? Where is he? Let's, uh, what colour can we give him? Let's give him a, let's make him happy. Let's give him a nice yellow colour. Here he is. There's Michael, number one. Okay, can everybody see Michael? He's not looking, he's not looking happy. He's looking quite upset. Okay, let's go to number two. It's uh, a boy called Jason. Jason is 12 years old. He has got short, curly red hair and small eyes. He is wearing blue shorts, a green t-shirt and white trainers or white shoes, that means. He's holding a bat. Where's Jason? So can anybody- Bottom, bottom, bottom. Bottom. I can see him, there he is. He's got, yeah, he's got curly, looks like orangey red hair. So let's pick, what color should we do Jason guys? What's Jason? Give me a color. He's, he's pear ten, ten. Oh. Green, green, green. Green, okay, yes. Yeah, so he's actually playing, what sport is Jason playing guys? So let's give Jason green. Baseball. Baseball. So there we go. Yeah, Jason's holding a baseball bat and a baseball. And he's about to go and play. All right, next one. Let's go number three. Henry. Henry is in his 60s. So he's 60 years old. He is slim. He has got short, straight, gray hair. He's wearing purple trousers, a green t-shirt, a brown jacket, and a brown hat. He has got some darts in his hand. Okay, who can find Henry for me? Let's give Henry, what color should we give Henry, guys? How about orange? Blue. 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 Okay, let's give Henry, let's give Henry blue. blue. There he is. So where is Henry? Up. Up. Okay, so we are, they said that he's holding, what's he holding? He's holding darts. Has anybody played darts before? He's holding, oh, he's holding some darts. Here we go. There we go. He's holding these things, darts. He must be playing darts. Whoa. If he's playing darts, why doesn't he have a dartboard? Very good question. Very good question, Finia. So he must be, yeah, he must be throwing towards it because he looks like he's throwing it. So there he is. Look, there's, there's, there's Henry up the top here. There's Henry. What's he looking like? He's not looking very happy, is he? He looks upset. No, he, he, he's just closing one eye to make sure he is uh, right pointing, pointing right, Emmett. Oh, yeah. So he, he's looking like he's concentrating. Yeah, that's good, Finia. So he's not upset. He's actually concentrating so he can throw the dart correctly. All right. So we got Henry. We got Michael. We got Jason. Let's go to David. So number four, David is in his 40s. So he will be 40 all the way up to 49 possibly. He's short and fat. He has got short blonde colored hair. He's wearing blue jeans, a yellow shirt, gray colored shoes and a gray hat. Where is he? So he is holding a rake. He's holding a rake. So it looks like he's doing some gardening. So David, let's make David, what color can David be guys? Yeah. Brown? Black, black. Let's go, okay, black. Okay, Paul, we got black. So David, and what's David doing? 
He's gardening. He's got a rake in his hand. Where is he? Is he underneath Michael? Is he next to Jason? Where is, where's David? Help me find David. Hey, where Crystal has found it. Thanks, Crystal. I'm going to put Do a you mean black. the King David? So there's David. He's wearing a yellow shirt and David? he's doing some gardening. Okay, let's go number five, George. George is in his 40s. So pretty much the same age as David. He is fat. He has got shorter, straight brown hair. He's wearing a green hat, a purple shirt, gray trousers and shoes. He's carrying a basket. Carrot. Is, basket is me carrot. Oh, is that a carrot? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well done. Yeah. Thank you. So let's change. What color can we do? Shall we do orange because he's got carrots? Um, okay. Yeah, orange. Okay. Yeah. So here he is. He is, uh, his name is George, and he has a basket of carrots. So that is number five. Okay, so well found. And he's a little bit fat, George. He's got brown hair. What else can we say about him? He's got quite big ears as well. Can, anybody, can everybody see George? He looks like he's got very large. He's got very large. Yeah, yeah, ears. he's got large ears, even larger than a kid. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And what else can we say about him? He's also. He must, you he must also closing his eyes. eyes. Okay, yes. Oh, yeah, he's also closing his eyes, correct. So maybe. But how is he walking? Yeah. yeah, his feet, his feet are on an angle like a penguin, aren't they? So it looks like instead of walking, he might be like, like waddling, you know, how, how like a seal, a seal would move. All right, so let's go to the next one, John. John is a secondary student, so he's a high schooler. He's 12 years old. He has got short, straight black hair, wearing blue shorts, gray shoes and a gray t-shirt. He loves flowers very much. Ah, there he is. So there's John. He's on his knees. Green, green. Green? Maybe like a darker. We got to. Let's go green, for a darker green. Green back. Green back. Okay, dark green. Dark green. Okay, I'm choosing dark green for number six, which is John. Here he is. John is twelve. Can the next color you use purple? I can do purple. Yes, sure, Crystal. All right, so look, Joseph. Joseph is a young boy, number seven we're at. He is 13 years old. He has got straight, short, straight brown hair. He is tall. He's wearing white trainers or white shoes, a green T-shirt and gray shorts. He enjoys doing sports. Okay, but uh, he's uh, the first, he's um, a first year of, teenager yeah correct so that's it 13 is the first year of being a teenager um now i go dark purple or light purple or lavender light purple light purple okay so i'll choose this one that's a light purple, light purple. there's Lavender. joseph number seven now let's have a look so there's joseph now Black joseph's purple. eyes Joseph's black eyes one. look like it oh. looks like he's only got one eye. They're 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 together, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Like he, he has two eyes, but it just come together. Yeah, like shape shaped like a bat. Um, yeah. How else could we describe him? He's he's flying. He's flying. Yeah, he's flying. He's like jumping up and kicking the soccer ball. At least he's not like a zebra who has the eyes here. Oh, like a zebra's got some funny eyes, do they? Yes, they, they have do. The eye, they have the eye like uh, like very near the ears. Oh, the let's eyes. have a look. I never noticed that. Let's have a look, actually. Let's have a look at zebra eyes. Let's see what you mean. Here, it's, oh, it's, yeah, it's okay. on the so side. Oh, yeah, okay, so his eyes are very like, wide. It's not like side forward, it's on the side. 
The eyes yeah, are on I the side. I see what you mean. Let's have a let's see if we can find a good picture of. Let's have a look if we can really see where the location of the eyes are. Here you see only one eye if you photo from the side. You see only yeah, one I got eye you. because so, the yeah. eyes on the side, like here. Oh, yes, yeah, so I see. So the eyes are more on the side of the head rather than at the front of the head. Okay, that's, yeah, so that's like, the, that would be like the opposite to our our friend jo, uh, Joseph, isn't it? Joseph, his eyes are more on the middle of his face, whereas the zebra has it on the side. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, got you. Okay, so that's number seven. That's Joseph. And obviously we know right. Stephen. Stephen is in his 60s. So Stephen's about 61, maybe 64, 65, like in his 60s age bracket. He's short and fat. He's got glasses. He's got short curly hair. He's wearing a green t-shirt, dark green trousers, for a better word. and a grey belt. Uh -huh. And he loves animals. Oh, yeah, there he is. What's he holding? What is, um, uh, what is Stephen holding? It's a cigarette. Would you like smoke in? Oh, you think so? Yes, it looks, it looks like some sort of vegetable, I think, Finia. Mm. Let's make him red. Let's make Stephen red. So there's Stephen, number eight. And he's got a little dog next to him. Red. Yes, he is like closing his eyes. One, two, three. Yeah, he's wearing glasses. How else can we describe Stephen? He has such small eyes. Yeah, very small eyes and he has he has a very large nose. Yeah. And, and, and what else? What else? How how else can we describe Stephen? Dog Stephen. His lips are quite his lips are quite uh, oh. quite thick. Yeah. So we could say he's got thick, oh, thick you. lips. His oh, hair, yeah. a little bit grey for his hair. He has such big, big hair. Hair. He has a big head. Big he head has a very big or large head. And he's got very short legs. Yeah, short legs, big body. Yeah, big, big, big upper body and sh very, very short legs. So, yeah, Stephen looks a little different. He might okay, be so old. very good, guys. Very good. So that's how I mean, we... I'm going to save this file uh -huh. and we basically described everybody. We described everybody there. So let's just save that finished worksheet in today's date. July 21 is today. All right, guys, we're just about finished. Before we finish, we might play one more game. Oh. Has everyone got time for one more game? I'm swamp. Okay, I'm so we're going to do a quick game here on what we did last week. We're comparing things. What's the fastest? What's the slowest? What's the biggest? Okay, and check water. So let's go in here quickly, guys, and we'll just finish off with this game, okay? So similar to last week, we, we compared we compared things. Be we're gonna careful. do that again today, but instead of comparing two things, we're gonna compare three things. Okay, so for example. They're called superlatives, okay? And I've spelled it wrong, but Google fixed it. So, so we're going to have a quick quiz on superlatives, okay? So, for example, let's say, let's use the word yummy. Yummy. So we would say, what is the, the most yummiest food between pizza Croissants and chocolate chocolate chip, 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 chip cookie. What is the oh yummiest? What the gifts? Okay, so here is, for example, the biggest. Us? What is on service? 
The biggest, the tallest, the heaviest. Elephant, elephant, elephant. So who's the biggest? So the the turtle, the lion, elephant. elephant. Yes. Elephant. The elephant is the biggest. What about the tallest? <laughs> Oh, that shit caught a hat in Langan. Lion. Sorry. Lion. What can we say? The lion is the what? The lion would be the scariest. Yeah, scariest. The most scariest is the lion. What about the cutest? The cutest is the giraffe. Oh, no, 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 penguin, penguin. Okay, so down here, the cutest is the penguin. The heaviest would be it's the elephant the elephant um the funnest what about the funnest the Funny funnest. Becomes funnest it's the seal the seal that's what i was thinking the seal would be the funniest um so there are some describing words that we're going to go through in our quiz okay so let's go back to our quiz is everybody ready yeah Okay, so let's begin. Can everybody see that and hear that? One sec, let me just make sure. Yep, we got the sound shared. Yeah, I can okay, hear the sound. Let's, uh, let's begin. We just beat a turtle. Let's begin. Wow. The fastest. Which one? Which one of these is the fastest? A cheetah. Cheetah. Falcon. Cheetah. Yeah. Cheetah. Okay, cheetah. Falcon or eagle? I think they're pretty fast. Ooh, the I'm going to say falcon. Cheetah. 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 Okay. Falcon. Yes, it was the falcon. The falcon is super fast. If he flies, the then the cheetah has to run. Okay, now small is the word. Smaller? The smallest. Which one is the smallest? Let's see. Smaller. Yeah. Okay, this is going to be a tough one. I'm going to guess. Okay, Augustus here says Mars. I'm saying Moon. Moon. Mars. Okay, so we got some Mars. We got some Moon. Let's have a look. Which one is the smallest? Or we could use, an, what's another word for smallest? Math. Okay, let's let's get the answer. Let's get the answer. Okay, next one. So we got the small and the small. Number three, D. Bigger. The because. biggest. Okay, what do we got here? Which one is the biggest? Africa. Asia. Asia. Europe. Okay. Yeah. So, Africa. 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 Wait, Africa. Says Africa. What do we got? Um. Asia. Asia. So Yo. what's biggest? What has more land? Uh, what's got more land? Um, this is a this is a hard question. I guess Europe. Asia, Asia. So, okay, so we got a few people say Europe. Some Asia. Asia. Let's find out which one is biggest. Europe, Europe. Let's have a look. What's biggest? What's biggest? It is. Europe or Asia. It's the biggest. Now, what are some countries in Asia? What are the big countries in Asia that we know? 
Thailand. Thailand is in Asia. What else have we got in Asia? Um, What's the largest country in Asia? Can anybody tell me? Europe. Who knows what one of the biggest countries in Asia is? And what is the smallest? China. Korea. Korea. China. Thailand. China. Japan. China. 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 Look, I think China, China is one of the biggest. India. Another one is um another one above China is starts with R. Who knows the country above Russia that starts with R? Anybody? Russia. Russia is in Asia. Russia, Russia yeah. is very big. All right, so good one, guys. So Asia is the biggest. Let's go to the next one. Number four, heavy. Heavier. Heavy. The heaviest. Okay, what's going to be the heaviest? Which one is the heaviest? Let's have a look. Okay, what do we have? We have a blue whale, an elephant, a bus. Everybody thinks blue whale? Yes. How many kilograms does a blue whale, how, how many kilograms does it weigh? Let's find out how many kilograms, kilograms of a blue whale. Who can guess? How heavy is it? Let's have a oh, look. Oh, Jesus. How heavy, how big is a blue whale? <laughs> Hold on, let's go to this one. Here we go. So a blue whale, how heavy? It might be the heaviest, but how many kilograms is a blue whale? I know. It could be a thousand kilograms. 100 to 150 tons. Whoa. Wow, so let's have a look. Um, 100 tons to kilograms. 100 tons. Let's have a look at this comparison. <laughs> wow, so that is a lot of kilograms. That's like a hundred thousand kilograms. Hundred thousand kilograms. So I think you guys might be right on this one. The blue whale could be the heaviest. Let's have a look. Um, okay, well, he, he was correct. Yeah. The blue whale is the heaviest. Blue. I think by a long one. So so heavy. The heaviest. Number five. The hardest. Which one is the hardest? Gold, diamond, steel. Okay. Gold. So, which one is going to be harder to break? Gold. Gold, diamond, or steel? Gold. Yeah. Gold. Okay, so we got a gold, we got a steel, the hardest. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's go. Okay, so what am I thinking? I'm thinking, um, I know a diamond is super, super strong, but I don't know if it's harder than gold. I guess so. Gold, gold is harder gold? than steel. Gold? But we need to know the hardest. Okay, let's have a look. What's the hardest? We've got a few different answers here. Three, two, one. And the answer is... Diamond is the hardest. Very hard to break. I bet we didn't know that one. No. So diamond is super hard. Next word is... Expensive. Expensive. More expensive. The most expensive. The most expensive. Oh. 
Yeah. What's the most expensive thing that everybody knows? I know the most expensive thing that I know is diamond. a diamond. Yes, a diamond. Just what we looked at in the last question. I also another thing is the most expensive thing. What do you think, Crystal? What what is the most expensive thing that you know about? Um, a whippet. Which one was that? A whippet. It's a dog, and my mom don't let my dad have it because it's expensive. Let's oh, very expensive. Okay. Yeah. It's for thousand. Let's have a look, actually. Let's have a look. If I search most expensive dog in the world, what are we going to get? Let's have a look. This might be the dog you're talking about. Oh, no. No, it's not this one. It's a whippet. You have oh, it's a to... whippet. Okay, I think I've heard of a whippet. A whippet is a dog that runs very fast and jumps very high. Wow. So this actually, the Tibetan Mastiff, looks like the most expensive dog in the world. And the most scariest. <laughs> and the most scariest. Wow. Could you imagine how much food? Fluffy. And it's very fluffy. It's very fluffy, isn't it? It looks like a golden retriever, a big furry one. A golden retriever. Could you imagine how much food you would have to give this this big expensive dog, the most expensive dog in the world. So that is very interesting. Now, the other dog you were talking about, Crystal, was a whippet, was it? Yeah, it's uh, my favorite dog. It's big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This oh, one. That, this one. Oh, they are very fast and very thin. Yeah, and very, and they jump very high. Wow. So that's a whippet. Yeah, they're super fast. Yeah, I What's love another dog. What's I another love dog that everybody knows. Um, a dog that I know is. Um... Here's one that Augustus is saying here, which is a very smart dog. I think these pe this dog helps the blind people. It's a golden retriever. Very smart. I have a smart dog. Oh. It's the number one smart. I like dog. this one. It's I the like number it. one dog. Yeah, so what you could say, so Crystal, is um, this is the smartest, the most smartest dog. But I have the most... I love Andesian. I love Andesian. I love Andesian. Oh, Alsatian? Yes. Let's have a look at that one, Paul. So Alsatian, also known as a German Shepherd. I like Alsatians. Yeah. Very one of the one of the smartest one of the most smartest dogs is a German Shepherd or an Alsatian. Now, one dog that I really like it it works on the farm mm -hmm. and it it rounds up all the sheep. sheep oh, this one! This is my favorite. This is my favorite dog. The Border wow. Collie. Anyone know this one? Yes. I like it too. It's so smart. Yeah, this one. Yes, Kun Kun. This one, they are so smart. When you throw them like a tennis ball, they are just like so quick and. Cute. You know, it. It's so cute. It's cute. I like Chetland Sheepdog. Sorry, Kun Kun, which one? Chetland Sheepdog. Oh, let's, let's have a look at that one. So, Shetland. Let's have a look at that. So Shetland Sheepdog. I don't think I've I've seen one of these. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, beautiful. I thought you were going to say Shetland. Uh, pony. Shetland Pony. Yeah, this is the Shetland Sheepdog. Wow. Now, Labrador. 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 Now the Shetland is a very very attractive dog. Look at that. That's you've got to keep it um, beautiful. Dog, but I need you to guess what is this. Okay. Let's have a look at a Labrador quickly. Okay. So there's a Labrador. They're, they're, they're very smart, very loyal dogs. Yeah. Um, I have a game for you to play. A game is guess what is the kind of the dog. I'll bring it. I think I remember my other dog, the Labrador. Okay. Now you have let's, to guess um, what is this dog. Like, what kind is it? Oh, are you going to describe it? Go on. You have 
to guess what time is this? Okay, go for it. Tell us, tell us a little bit of a description. What? The, what? So let's describe what it and we'll see what we can get. What is this time? You have to guess it. Is it a poodle? No. Is it a chihuahua? Chihuahua. Chihuahua, no. very hard to spell chihuahua. A little chihuahua. No. It's, okay, I give you one hint. It's fluffy. It's fluffy. It's fluffy. Is it a Pomeranian? No. Um, fluffy. Oh, wow. What's a fluffy dog? Um, what's a fluffy dog? Um, it wouldn't be this, would it? It wouldn't be a beagle, would it? Um, no, that's not fluffy. Okay, that's... I'll tell you what kind it is. Okay? Tell me. Um, my dad told it's a leash. Okay, so, oh, is it a husky? I think I'm going to try <laughs> No, it's a small dog. Husky, husky. That's a husky. All right, look, go back and finish our game off because we, uh, we're a bit out of time now. So let's quickly go to the next one, which is expensive. We went through the most expensive dog. Um, let's go and find out what they're going to ask us here. The most expensive item here. Which one is the most expensive? Okay, we've got a jet oh We've got a big house. Or a helicopter. I guess a jet. I guess a jet. Okay, I like, I think you got the right, that's a jet. Very good. Yes, Okay, next one, number seven. Hotter. The hottest. Okay, what is the hottest animal of these? Hmm, let me see. Okay. So we are we got a desert. Desert. We've got a desert. Desert. And no. Oh, desert. I guess not. 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 I guess I guess not. 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 Super hot, no heat, no water, it's so dry. Okay, number eight, smaller. Smaller. The smallest. Uh, which one is the smallest? The smallest. Oh, we got a little kitty. Kitten. We got a hamster. I like hamster. It's a cute. Oh, this is hard. I am a hamster. A hamster. Okay, I hear hamster. Okay, so everybody. Everybody sounds like they, they want hamster. Hamster. I'm I'm thinking kitten. I'm thinking hamster. Let's have a look. Say the smallest animal hamster. is hamster. It's a hamster. Okay, let's see. I think you guys might be right. I think hamster. Yes, hamster. 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 Or the tiniest is the hamster. Number nine, cold. Cold. Colder. Colder. Yeah. Coldest. Colder. Okay, let's have a look at the coldest. Okay. Is it the moon? The moon. Saturn. 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 Neptune. Neptune. Ooh, the the moon. The moon. The moon. The moon. The moon. The coldest moon. planet. The moon. The moon. Neptune. 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 Saturn. Let's have a look. I, I think Neptune may be the coldest, but I'm not I sure. Think Neptune. 
Okay, the coldest planet is Neptune. Okay, Neptune is the coldest. How cold is Neptune, I wonder? Let's have a look. So, Neptune. Anybody know the temperature of Neptune? Let's have a look, actually, how cold it is. Whoa, look. They're, the planet's average temperature is minus, minus 14. Wow. So that's super, super freezing. Super freezing. So minus 214. What about the moon? What was the moon temperature? Does anybody know that? Let's find out. So the moon is 183 degrees Celsius. So still pretty cold. So the moon was, was fairly cold. What was our other choice? We had Neptune, we had Saturn. Let's have a look. What is Saturn's temperature? Minus 178. Okay, so they were all very cold. So you guys pretty much, the moon. You pretty much got it correct. They were mostly very cold, cold planets. The coldest was Neptune. Okay, let's go. Power. Okay, what's going to be the tallest? So I'm going to be here. Okay, the Statue of Liberty is in New York. The Eiffel Tower in Paris. Big Ben in London. Big Ben. Oh. Oh. Eiffel. Eiffel. Okay, I hear Eiffel. 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 Okay, so the tallest. Eiffel Tower. I think the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France may be the one. Let's have a look. The tallest is the Eiffel Tower. Very good. It is. Look, it's, it's very, very tall. Okay, so, guys, good job. Good job. Okay, that's... Uh, that's the yeah. end of our quiz. I'm going to stop sharing that. All right, good job today, guys. I think that's the end of our class. So I hope everybody, hope everybody learned some new words. I want you to practice when you're talking to your mom or dad, your brother or sister. Make sure you try to practice some of the words you're you're learning in our lessons. Okay. 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 All right. And guys, I'll see you all next Wednesday. All right. So everybody, everybody have a good day. All right. Good afternoon. See you guys next week. Okay. Bye, Crystal. Bye, Finia. Take care, guys.